I'm not really ready to read yet, but I guess I will, you know what I'm saying? This week in Destiny, October 3rd, 2024. This week in Destiny, we have a lot to share. It's all about the next episode, Revenant, which is launching in less than a week, October 8th. We can't wait to see you all ripping and tearing the scorn as Slayer Barrett's playing new activities using new gear and testing your build. So how about you check what is in the oven for today? A uh, new episode means new artifact. We actually went over the new artifact in the YouTube video as well. We can all recapture all that. A sneak peek of exotic armor changes. That would be fun. Weapons tuning and new weapon mods. A preview of the new weapon rewards as well as the new Iron Banner armor and weapons. Fixing some legendary ornaments. We also have newly reprised strike coming uh dev live stream we watched all that this is a long video if you want to see the whole recap too long didn't read you can go over to the youtube uh Sizzins, same thing as uh the twitch here uh go watch it over here and uh we did a full quick recap less than 15 minutes everything you need to know uh learn about the new artifact here's the new artifact we obviously already knew anti-barrier scout overload some machine gun unstoppable pulse anti-barrier shotgun overload breach load grenade launcher that's gonna be your special ammo grenade launchers uh and then let's go look at some of these other ones because we went through them briefly in the dev live stream uh one with frost while frost armor is active stasis weapons gain increased reload speed and stability stasis swords gain increased guard resistance all right cool killing breeze rapid weapon final blows grant you a bonus to mobility weapon final blows with the dark ether reaper origin trait nice that's a cool origin trait count as more than one okay so we have the new weapons that are coming with the season they're gonna have their own thing on the artifact obviously enhanced ether generator dark ether reaper origin trait has a chance to spawn an extra dark ether charge weapons with the dark ether reaper origin trait are overcharged when that modifier is active some more more damage for the weapons that are in the season obviously fell the revenant deal increased weapon damage to scorn uh wearing shade stalker armor Armor increases the bonus damage, so I assume that's going to be your seasonal armor. Uh, rapid impacts dealing damage with the grenade launcher temporarily increases the reload speed of grenade launchers. This is actually huge. So whenever we're doing grenade launcher DPS, we're going to be getting some crazy boosted deeps just passively. This is definitely one that needs to be on. Uh, so we'll look at more of them, but I feel like that's a that's a guaranteed out of this column. And then if I'm if we're doing a lot of stasis, I would say one with the frost would probably end up being one of them or yeah i think it's one with uh, in this column i would say if you're if you have to pick two it's going to be one with the frost and rapid impacts uh if you're doing a lot of stasis stuff because the thing is even if you're using prismatic you get frost armor and we're going to have a lot of stasis grenade launchers that we're going to be using i feel like one with the frost is going to be good for your prismatic and using stasis weapons and then rapid impacts for your grenade launcher dps uh wind chill rapid stasis weapon precision hits grant you a stack of frost armor okay so if you're using the stasis weapon with one with the frost you're getting that frost armor so these ones synergize well together rapid precision hits from weapons with the dark reaper dark ether reaper origin trait grant you more stacks of frost armor so probably the new weapons from the season are going to be stasis weapons that you can use and it will compound that so that'll actually be really good boost dealing status dealing stasis weapon damage to slow targets has a chance to spawn a stasis stasis is gonna go crazy uh crystalline converter <clears throat> gather stasis shards to gain stacks of crystalline converter your next powered stasis melee hit creates stasis crystals equal to the number of stacks you have stasis weapon final blows after activating your class ability spawn a stasis shard so a lot of stasis crystals and extra stasis shards stasis shards picking those up usually give you an overshield or something of that nature um so this is good good to have those stasis shards they usually help you boost something with your stasis build so it's good to passively have something else that does stasis shards rather than just your build um good to have that total carnage after finishing a powerful combatant gain temporary damage resistance while you have this is a finisher move i mean this is probably good for like maybe gms if you're up here doing uh finishers and stuff like that while you have two or more shade stalker armor pieces equipped after finishing a powerful combatant gain increased temporary damage resistance and replenish health this is all about finishers and stuff like that it depends on how often you're doing finishers that that's going to be good i really think that uh you're already using one of your columns right here in wind chill uh with some stasis weapons let's see what else they have power from pain rapid final blows against weakened combatants grants you devour rapidly defeating weakened combatants spawns a void breach a little bit of void in here i don't know what the point is of having just a little little bit of void right here in this column from what i understood this was more about arc and uh stasis but i guess this makes sense with the fighting lion uh being able to make make people volatile and stuff like that maybe they're trying to play into a little bit of a void build here i'm not sure 
but that seems like it's a very out of place. I think that's I think it's a miss on the artifact, to be honest. Just throwing that out there. Uh, trace evidence. Rapid precision hits or rapid final blows on targets affected by jolt or blind will generate ionic traces. Picking up an ionic trace grants an armor charge. Okay, so ionic traces. Um, I feel like in your second column, if you're picking two, wind chill is one of them and probably just crystalline converter or uh total carnage depending on how you play those might be the two if you're if you're building into stasis uh armor of aramis while frost armor is active taking critical damage from combatants causes you to emit a freezing burst all of these the top three in the middle three columns all need to happen these are all synergizing if you're doing a stasis build this happens combatants cause you to emit a freezing burst boost increase radius and strength of the free of this freezing burst um how do you get the boost? How are we getting the boost though? I don't understand, it didn't explain. Increase radius and strength of this freezing burst. Crystallized auto loader, shattering stasis crystals releases shards of ice that damage and slow targets, shattering frozen targets and stasis crystals deals increased damage. Debilitating wave, finishers emit a damaging wave that matches the element of your currently equipped super while you have an arc void or stasis super equipped the blast also applies blind weaken and slow respectively okay so synergize right here uh concussive reload using grenade launcher to damage a boss damage a champion or break a combatant shield weakens them so we're getting grenade launchers that weaken and do more damage this one has to be on we're all, we're getting an intrinsic weekend with our grenade launchers so everybody can cook and we don't have to put a tether out that is huge using grenade launchers to damage bosses champions or, or to break sh combatant shields automatically reload stowed weapons they want us to use bait and switch with grenade launchers again get away from the still hunt we love you bungie thank you this is exactly what we want we want fun doof doofs we want fun doof doofs i don't want to have to use still hunt for everything this is amazing. We love both of these traits. Thank you. Uh, Retinal Burn. Rapid arc weapon precision hits consume an armor charge to blind the target. Blinding a target this way instead emits a blinding burst. Okay. Uh, I'm not using that. I'm using Concussive Reload, and I'm using Crystallized Auto Loader, and it's just because there's a build that I'm going to do, and I already know exactly how much fun it's going to be. There's a certain grenade launcher that makes stasis crystals. Uh, Brain Freeze. Frozen combatants become surrounded by chilling fog which slows combatants that aren't already weapons with the dark ether reaper origin trait deal more damage to frozen combatants okay i'm probably going to be using all four all of these actually if that's weakening is this for using grenade launcher to damage a boss this will i wonder if this counts for um breach load because if this counts for breach load with the weakened effect i think i'm doing power from pain i think i'm doing all of these and all of the top ones with brain freeze but let's see uh supernova picking up a void breach causes you i don't care about that uh next source of void damage to create a large weakening pulse that's cool and everything but we're weakening constantly with grenade launchers anyway don't really care conductive cosmic crystal your arc abilities void abilities and weapons with dark ether reaper origin trait do bonus damage to targets that are affected by a stasis debuff everything's gonna be affected by a stasis debuff it seems increased bonus damage to combatants affected by a stasis debuff severed cold picking up a stasis shard grants you class ability energy picking up a void breach grants you melee ability energy um kinetic impact sustained damage with a power grenade launcher causes the combatant to emit a shockwave that damages nearby combatants this shockwave can stun unstoppable champions we can use grenade launchers on unstops dude i'm down i'm using this one i'm using these ones i'm using these ones and my second up here i'm probably just using brain freeze i'm using all of this i'm using all of this add that into it and whatever two i need from over here because i think you have to have two per column at least right this seems like a better artifact than we got this season i'm just throwing that out there this seems like a much better artifact than we got this past season. This is a W. This thing cooks. This gets us away from the still hunt meta. Puts us into a grenade launcher meta. Everybody loves to do their damage rotations with bait and switch. It's a more fun way to do damage. I have fun doing it. This is actually huge and it gets us to have more fun whenever we're doing bosses. Even in old raids, it makes old raids more fun because you can actually do some damage uh, and feel like you're actually participating in the damage, not just aiming and shooting. So this artifact is a W. I'm having fun with it. And we haven't seen stasis in the artifact like ever. So this is absolutely huge. It's gonna be fun. There's gonna be stasis crystals everywhere. You're not gonna be able to move because there's gonna be walls in your face. You're gonna have to bust them down. This is gonna be a fun way to play Destiny. I agree with what they did here. This should be a fun season. Uh, exotic armor tuning, tuning for Revenant. Uh, Lucky Pants now provides movement bonus, including uh, increased slide distance and sprint speed with what the hand cannon equipped. That's actually huge. I do love my Lucky Pants. 
Uh, this is going to be fun to use in uh, GMs now. Being able to just run through GMs while using Lucky Pants. We love that. Uh, airborne effectiveness bonus is active whenever a hand cannon is equipped. Not just the illegally modded holster buff is active. So even if your buff runs out, you still have a little bit of a buff going for your airborne effectiveness. That's good. No longer requires the hand cannon to be matched to the super damage type or kinetic to receive PVE damage buff. What? Oh, this is going to be sick. We're going to love that. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Out of luck cooldown will only trigger if you reach seven stacks of PVE damage buff before swapping off the weapon or time expires. Maximum damage has been decreased from 600 to 450. Dang it, y'all were cooking, man. Y'all were cooking and you decided to stop cooking. Give me the damage. Give me the fun, dude. Please. You were cooking, Bungie, and you soiled it with a damage decrease. They always do this to the hunters, man. I'm telling you. They're like, oh, here's something cool, but we're de decreasing your damage. Because this doesn't matter. I can still match other stuff. They could have given us this, and it wouldn't have done anything besides just let us have more options of guns to use. But now they're like, do less damage. I love my lucky pants. I love my hand cannon, man. That's insane, dude. Ahamkar, I don't even want to finish the twid, man. That's how that's how distraught I am right now. I'm so mad. We wanted to take another swing at these to better preserve their previous PvE gameplay while keeping a handle on their effectiveness in PvP. Once again, provides ability, energy, and trip my grenade and hits instead of final blows. Okay, cool. Blight Ranger added the ability to cancel your arc staff super while equipped. That's a W. Damaging and blinding nearby enemies and granting a tier 4 arc weapon damage boost. Damage dealt by this effect scales based on the number of projectiles reflected prior to the canceling. Uh, no longer creates orbs of power when reflecting projectiles. Reflecting projectiles now instead directly refund super energy. That's a W. So it helps you but not anybody else. But that's at least they kept it to where it was actually still helping you. Uh, extending the duration of your super. Oh, it extends the duration of your super. So it doesn't really necessarily give you another one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Ride just harness. Uh, fully reworked behavior of its exotic trait, Mobius Conduit, inspired by its lore tab, activating Gathering Storm, calls down lightning on all nearby targets, jolting them while also amplifying allies. Defeating arc debuff targets grants a small amount of Gathering Storm energy. So this is like a, this is like a way to get your super back. This is like Orpheus Riggs, but for your Gathering Storm. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So if you want to use a damage super to just clear ads rather than just debuffing everything and, and working them down, you can use this. So that's pretty cool. Relativism, Prismatic Hunter has access to a lot of stacking melee damage bonuses, which all compound with each other, leading to some out of band melee damage. Come on, man. Spirit of Syntheseps, reduced melee damage bonus provided when both bionic enhancements and stylish execution are active by 50%. So let's cut your Spirit of Syntheseps extra damage bonus in half if you're a hunter pretty much titan ice fall mantle you now gain a stack of frost armor each time you gain a stack of frost armor at any source you will heal for a small amount unique class ability granted okay you get an overshield maximum stacks of frost armor instead of its custom overshield you also immediately heal for each stack it no longer prevents sprinting or jump abilities class ability energy begins to recharge immediately after using okay so that's a buff stasis energy from class ability now freezes combatants another buff no longer provides bonus stasis weapon damage uh you weren't really using the stasis this is not really now requires stasis super to be equipped to benefit from its exotic effects okay so you have to comp you have to definitely have to combine this with a stasis super rather than a prismatic super uh cadmus ridge lance cap remove the stasis weapon requirement okay direct hitting any powerful combatant with a diamond lance will now create three stasis crystals previously only bosses and vehicles would create additional crystals cool there's gonna be crystals everywhere ursa furiosa and spirit of the boar okay increase maximum super energy gain for unbreakable in pve from 15 to 20 percent this should be enough to get your super back instantly uh especially on encounters like the witness that's pretty cool uh, fix an issue where you were gaining more super energy from Unbreakable in PvP than intended. Now provides a maximum of 10%. Okay. We don't care about that. We care about this PvE. PvE is a buff. PvP is a nerf. Curse of the Fallen Star. Melee final blows while amplified now grant you super energy. Buff. Reduce the damage bonus from Curse to Thunder Crash two times to 1.5. At least they finally nerfed the Titans a little bit rather than just constantly giving everything a buff on the Titans. This keeps the overall damage similar to what is 
what was previously replace the overshield after impact with damage resistance 50 percent mpb that's actually huge so you can't just send it at a boss this is a huge nerf this is a huge nerf on the titans don't we have a spirit of the fallen star so this was this is no we don't no we don't have a fallen star spirit do we this doesn't really nerf everybody on that then i would assume this is literally just for that exotic piece uh peacekeepers dealing damage to combatants with an smg increases smg damage for a short time rapid final blows and final blows while at critical health will now grant devour for your mask of the quiet one that's pretty cool rapid final blows and final blows while at critical health so rapid final blows pretty much because we don't get critical health around here we st we stay healthy we stay thick uh well, grant devour so you have an easy way to get devour on your titan oh it requires a void super to be equipped so just the super so you could use this on prismatic if you wanted to and you could get devour on prismatic for a titan so that's pretty cool uh stoicism spirit of the horn activating thruster leaves a ball of super energy behind exploding and applying scorch to enemies caught in the blast that's pretty cool activating thruster heals you and nearby allies cool activating thruster spawns a pair of stasis crystals adjusted hearts of ice perk to increase the shatter damage of targets frozen by shade binder super projectiles by a hundred percent dang doubled up on the uh shatter damage okay added granting frost armor to your allies with frost pulse or winter's wraith grants you super energy that's pretty cool too huge buff on this for the warlocks skull of the dire ahamkara added this phrase weapon defeats while devourer is active grant super energy yeah but who's using skull of the dire ahamkara oh for other options this is pretty cool this is pretty cool i'm sure there'll be builds with it because you get devour and just absolutely insanely get your super back constantly especially with a uh with the void supers uh being crazy buffed and stuff like that your nova bomb uh and everything this could be this could be really cool uh sanguine alchemy marks targets you damage while standing in a rift you deal 10 percent extra damage from any source against marked targets now provides a surge of times four to weapons that match your super damage verity's brow and, sp and spirit of verity so both of them okay so if it would have okay if they're doing the spirit changes they are also adding that to it okay first stack of death throws now provides 40 percent grenade damage mpve up to up from 20 percent. so this is actually huge just the that's the first stack each additional stack now provides 15 percent grenade damage up to a max of 100 percent at five stacks so i mean it's pretty much it's pretty much the same except it starts working a little bit earlier cenotaph mask damaging a vehicle boss or champion with a trace rifle will once again visually mark the target for players using cenotaph so does that mean that we can well once again visually mark the target for the player using cenotaph what does that even mean does that mean they get heavy ammo again because i mean this is just a visually mark this is just a visual change i mean that doesn't really i mean that's that's good for you know ui issues but i mean got it so it just tells the team if it's marked got it and you would just be sitting there wasting ammo i mean that's dumb to take that away to be honest if they, they should have never taken it away um i didn't honestly i didn't even notice that much that it was taken away uh reduce the increased seeker distance and speed by 50% for the Osmio gloves. Speaker sight, six instances of healing a damaged ally in Crucible will spawn an orb of power. So you're not really seeing much of that in Crucible. Uh, super damage exotic tuning, Curse of the Fallen Star, Thunder Crash, Unchanged. Hyrogale Gauntlets with Burning Maul, plus 10%. Spirit of the Star Eater, plus Nova Bomb, down 12%. Nerf on the Nova Bomb. Spirit of Star Eater, uh, Twilight Arsenal, down 26%. Holy crap. Spirit of Star Eater and Needle Storm, Unchanged. Gathering Storm, Unchanged. Celestial and Golden Gun. Why not? Minus five percent bosses only. They just how many times are we gonna nerf Celestial? You just don't want us to use it. Is that what it is? You're just gonna keep on taking it down. They were doing crazy damage, but I feel like these shouldn't have changed, and this should have come up. Like just get us to doing that same amount of damage. You know what I'm saying? Get us up there. Like let the let let the Celestial Golden Gun lead the pack, and then keep these guys cooking. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't take away the cookage from other people. Hunting the scorn with new gear. So we got some new weapons here. Got a new uh kind of like old fashioned hand cannon. Got a breach loading grenade launcher uh looks like a we'll see what the frame is it looks like the double fire frame got a sniper rifle got a new heavy grenade launcher too got a new sidearm new pulse rifle it looks like all right so we have the void precision frame sidearm don't care void adaptive frame sniper rifle don't care red tape stasis lightweight frame scout rifle so it's a scout rifle nice oh no it's not up there so this is the pulse rifle it has to be vantage point arc adaptive frame pulse rifle 
All right, stasis aggressive frame hand cannon. Let's look at that. Triple tap to the pain encore stasis for all or stats for all outlaw. Uh, it comes with headstone precision instrument, desperate measures. I'm upset. Not really a good hand cannon. Uh, arc adaptive frame grenade launcher, reverberation strategist, stats for all unrelenting perpetual motion, attrition orbs, loose change, cascade, explosive light bait and switch so we have explosive light and bait and switch we don't really have a reload perk unless redacted here is a reload perk or one of the one of the new ones oh is it the um it might be envious arsenal this might have envious arsenal on it if they aren't showing envious arsenal then that might be it if it has envious arsenal that'll be good that would reload your other weapons no that we don't have a reload perk here uh stasis double fire grenade launch this one should be good envious assassin overflow reconstruction multiple reload perks we love that all right cool we have chill clip we have harmony uh chain reaction desperate measures one for all reconstruction for sure one for all would give us some damage that would be good desperate measures would give us some damage but that's not really good for boss rotations i really think i mean is it, if in that case it's probably gonna be reconstruction and maybe lead from gold maybe chill clip i don't know seasonal weapon crafting all extra stuff even more weapons this is our uh iron banner weapons all right so we have a fair judgment stasis precision auto rifle crucible we have uh anonymous autumn arc lightweight sidearm uh competitive deadlock stasis precision frame shotgun very cool vanguard ops wicked sisters strand adaptive grenade launcher nightfall rake angle stasis aggressive glaive uh, plug one arc precision fusion rifle and in the G word we got bygones kinetic adaptive pulse rifle Okay, uh, new armor came out uh, This is actually really good. I enjoy the armor. It looks really awesome. Titans are very sleek uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the helmet uh, warlocks really look really good I'm not sure about the shoulders not sure about the helmet. We're going for like more of a viking look It seems obviously you can see with the shoulders you can see with the shoulders here uh, the viking look kind of with the fur around the metal around the iron looks really good the hunter cloak is an absolute w this is probably the hunter cloak is probably the best thing out of all three of these sets just that one piece so i'm definitely down with that looks really good but i also like the robes from the warlock just the the pants and the way the um the, the i assume the top flows into the bottom here i just hate the shoulders with that to be honest but we'll see we have a stasis rocket frames sidearm comes with not really much we have bait and switch on it chill clip that's pretty cool uh wish we would have like a uh, reload perk but you know whatever i guess you don't really need a reload perk so let's let's see maybe deconstruct some loose change uh because it will be debuffed loose change will be good loose change will be good because this is a stasis one so if you do loose change and chill clip that'll be fun that would be a probably really fun way to go about it stasis rocket sidearm i would say loose change and chill clip because you're gonna get a reload speed from loose change you'd be freezing stuff constantly with chill clips that's actually those actually synergize well together uh high impact machine gun uh we have envious assassin we have four times okay with the uh increase to the damage on the uh on the high impact ones uh four times with target lock we got another four times target lock uh and it's a stasis machine gun so is this iron banner i assume it's coming from iron banner yep new iron banner weapon so whenever iron banner comes around we definitely want to farm for the uh machine gun here with four times in target log that's probably gonna be really good uh fixing some weapon ornaments cool the reinverted spire oh cool so we can invert spire back so that's gonna be one of our reprised uh nightfalls or you know uh strikes uh first ever discord quest and hurricane helene support nice cool all right so that does it for the twid uh, a lot of information here a lot to unpack a lot of weapon updates a lot of armor updates for the for everything but i mean the key thing is we we got a lot happening with the uh, artifact a lot happening with the grenade launchers and heavies a lot of stasis weapons that you need to stay tuned for and uh some iron banner armor that looks pretty dope so that does it for the twid uh if you enjoyed the video found it informative make sure you like comment share it with a friend follow and subscribe depending on which platform you're on we'll see you in the next one